Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my top trade tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a sliding shower enclosure onto a shower tray that's 760 millimeters wide by 1,000 millimeters. And the products that you'll get in your kit is the shower screens itself, which consists of three separate pieces of glass. One is the side panel here, and the other two form part of the sliding door. Of course, the aluminium frame, some seals, and a top and bottom rail where the wheels will be connected in, a handle and some fixings. Now, the tools you're gonna to require are a spirit level, some silicon and a silicon gun, a cordless drill with a drill bit suitable for your tiles, a tape measure, pens for marking, a screwdriver, a rubber mallet, and a detector to avoid drilling any cables or pipes that may be behind your tiles. And always read the instructions before you start. Now you've checked to see that all your kit are part of there and you have the tools at hand. You wanna lay them out in a position where you can assemble them and in order what they're gonna be going into. So this side panel here is for this section, the short side. This comes with the two profiles already connected to it. Then you get two of these sections. I'll just show you the shape of these ones. So two of them, one will be fitted to the tiles here and then the edge of this slides in there and there's a cavity in there and it's ideal because if your tiles aren't true which these are out a fraction it'll compensate for that for you so that is going to be mounted into there and it'll bring it to this corner but we don't want to drill and fix that into position yet until we've set up the frame for this side so within your kit apart you have these four sections as the frame the two top and bottom rails which is designed for the wheels and holds the door that moves side to side. You get another thin section here, which again will mount into this piece. When that's screwed flat to the wall, it'll slide into this profile. And then the external corner, which is here, which is the thickest and heaviest piece out of the lot of them. So, we know where this is going and we know where them two sections are going. We'll come back to the door and the side panel on here a bit later on. The first thing we've got to do now is put this frame together. Do check all your instructions thoroughly about the screws, which sizes they are and which ones go in which. I've lined my corners up here and I think these are the 35mm screws are going to go through here. They're already pre-drilled as a pilot hole and you'll see them coming out the bottom there and the bottom section of these two rails will have two small pallet holes already drilled out for you. So you line them up and screw them into here like this. Same again on the opposite side and the two top corners to make your side frame. Also, do be aware your top and bottom rail has a little groove just in here. This top section is where the wheels will actually hook into there. Once I've got them connected to the door, we'll show them in situ in a minute. But make sure that that is on the bottom section of here, but the groove is pointing up because that'll anchor the wheels in place. Now, before we offer the frame up into position, I want to put on a couple of these seals. Uh, there's a number of them that comes with it, but these two have a magnetic strip, so they're, they're pulled and stuck together like that. One of them 
This one is going to fit on the frame and the other one fits on the edge of the door. So when the door slides shut and it meets the frame, this magnet section will hold it together. A bit tricky to get in, that's why I tend to put them in whilst they're on the floor and not, not whilst it's standing upright. There it goes. So it has this little kind of T-groove on there which slides into the profile on there. There we go, that's magnetic. And this section which of course will be on the door and when the door slides closed, click, holds its seal there. So any water coming on it, it's going to drip off and not go through. So this is the main frame that will be sitting here and that will be attached to the wall via this channel. So I'm going to slip this channel on at the moment. Take it off again in a minute. But there is a tolerance of about probably 30 millimetres and that allows for any discrepancy with your wall tiles you know like that's button up against there we've got a little gap down this end and here that 30 millimetres on the bottom of this corner allows it to come in and out a fraction what you want to do is try to have an equal kind of overhang of this shower tray all the way around so it looks symmetric both sides okay so i'm gonna start by fixing this channel to the tiles now place that into position check for level and make a mark with the pre-drilled holes are And then using your detector, make sure that there is no pipes or wires behind the tiles before you drill them. Drilling wall tiles can be a little bit tricky, so do make sure you use the correct drill bit for drilling your type of tiles. I always start off drilling on an angle until it bites into the surface of the tile, and then you can straighten it up to a 90 degree before drilling the depth that you require. Place in your plastic raw plug and gently tap this flush using a rubber mallet so you don't crack or chip your tiles. Place the first channel section profile against the tiles, offer your screw up and drive that in with a cordless screwdriver. Now where I fitted the screws to hold these profiles in the top, middle and bottom on the both sides, I will be taking them out again later because I've got these little caps that have to go around it to cover them up. However, I'm going to wait till I've got the whole frame squared up and the door hanging and moving and then I'm satisfied it's in the right position. I will then fix the frame to the profile that's holding it into the wall and then apply my caps on the screws so you can't see them. So we can slide this frame now into the channel that we've attached to the wall. It's quite a tight fit at it. Once it goes in, it really pulls into that nice and tight. We won't push it all the way at the mini. We're now going to put this on this end. This is what we need to get perfectly level like that. So we can go in at the top, right up tight to the wall. And this bottom section here will be pulled out just a fraction. And that compensates for a couple of millimeters out, which our tiles might be on there. So the channel down there is fixed really tight and flush to the wall. This section, it slides into the channel 
There's a cavity in between there, and we will put some grommets in that, holding it into position shortly. But that's the point there we need to get perfectly level. Once we've got that perfectly level, now down at this corner now gives us this little mark here. I'm just going to make with my pencil. That gives us a measurement of 18 millimetres, which would be pretty much similar to that. Yeah, 18, 19 millimetres. That gives me now my mark on here to put 18 millimetres on there, which is exactly where that profile will start. About there. That, of course, will be levelled. The spirit level screwed and fixed in exactly the same as that one will be and then I can bring my side panel it slides into here and slides into the around here should I say not into that around here because that one has an external corner profile make sure you're nice and level and then put a little pencil mark where you're going to drill in the pre-drill clearance holes that are within the profile. And screw them in just the same as the other section. I'm gonna put a little bit of cardboard just on there for now because I'm going to be resting the glass onto this. Now, it is a bit tricky, this, doing it on your own. I'm going to place that there. I'm going to stand inside. If you've got someone to help you, it's certainly wise to get them. Lift this up on here, place it onto the shower tray itself, and now try to slide that in there. Oh, it's gone in a lot easier than I thought actually. It's gone in at the top. That's it. Now it's gone in that groove so it's literally holding itself there now. Now these corners also have to meet. Now we slide these in. Start off at the top. That's us. And then profiles are just squeezing together now. Nice and solid. Check my level. That is almost perfect. I'm about a millimeter or two out at the bottom. So what I do now is make that adjustment on this frame here I pull that out a fraction there we go absolutely perfect that side and then we come to this side and we're a fraction out on there again at the bottom so I need to go that way which is pulling it out from here it in at the top. That's the beauty about the cavity inside this profile, the way it sandwiches in. It allows you to get all corners perfectly level. Perfect. So my next stage now is where we've slid these out here in this profile and that a little bit at the bottom, we can drill some pilot holes through the two profiles and then drive a little kind of self tappet screw in there, which will hold that perfectly in position and keep my corner level there. Now this main side here is where the sliding door is going to be. And to the side of that is this fixed panel piece of glass. This is placed into position. There's a little groove all the way along that edge, which it slots in and we put a seal in there later. And then top and bottom of here is held in by these two little small brackets with two sunken screws. 
So lift this glass into position, place it on the bottom rim there, hold it with my toes, place it to the top and then slide it into the profile. And once it's in there, it literally now will hold itself. And then I've got my fixings that I'll put top and bottom. Then you apply one of the sealing strips. Start to push that in with your fingers, then take a rubber mallet and gently tap it all the way down from top to bottom until you've got that firmly secured into position. The next stage is to hang your sliding door. Now this is going to be held into position by these runners that sit along the top of the rail up there and they hold the door by going between these two holes, two at the top and two on the bottom. So, take yourself a screwdriver, undo your screw here and you'll find that these open up, screw will come out and they slide over the top. They've got a little kind of nodule in them which will lock in between that hole that's pre-cut out. Pop your screw in and tighten that up. Now you may have noticed I've got my glass door packed up on these pieces of polystyrene. They come within the packaging. Of course, it's wise to prop it up because once you've got your runners on the top and the bottom, you don't want that door to sag in the middle. Although it's reinforced, it's just putting a lot of strain on it there. So do pack it up for safety. So now you've got your four runners fitted to your door, you can hang it in place. Now if you have got someone to help you lift this, now's the time to call in the favours. Because it's quite tricky on your own, I'm going to get inside and then I've got to turn it to an angle and slowly lift it up into position. Being careful that I don't bang any of the edges. So now that's hooked on on the top, I can let go of it. I come out to the front and my bottom two runners, I've got little buttons on the top. So I press them, pushes the wheels down, the door comes towards me and then they spring back up and hook onto the rim on this profile here. So now, yep, that's held in top and bottom. It's closing up there, perfect. The next stage is to put the other side of the magnet that slides along here to help seal and close it against this edge. I'm going to start from the top. So this magnet seal here has a bit of a channel on one side of it, which kind of molds round the edge of the glazed door, holds it into position. Now, another thing we must fit, when this door opens, we don't want it to be hit in the back of here, the tiles in any way. So there's two little screws already in covers this side. I'm gonna remove them. I'm gonna fit one of them there, a little round edge on, and that'll hit that, that wheel and stop it hitting that. And then there's a larger one, like this one for the bottom, because we only have one wheel on the bottom runner. Your handle comes in three separate pieces. Unscrew the blocks from the back, place them through the pre-drilled holes in the glass and slide the washers on. Put the handle back into position, pushing the plugs through, and then drive the screws from the inside through both plastic sections to make your handle nice and tight 
both sides of the glass. Then hand tighten the screws from the inside, making sure that the handle is firm, pressed up against the rubber washers and the two blocks on the inside. Now you've got your fixed side panel in and your sliding door closes and it's all nice and square. One double check to see that it's level there and then it's level that side and now we can commit to fixing our frame into that side profile that we fitted to the wall at the start on both sides. So on one part of the channel here, it's already pre-drilled out that you can't really see because it's black on black, but when I put a pilot drill in there, drill a little hole. Then get one of my little kind of flathead grommet style screws, place that in and hand tighten that. That now has held that profile that slid into there really, really well. Got one in the middle, I'll do one top and bottom. Now remember these screws I put in first and I said I'd come back to them. Now this frame is attached into there really well. I'm going to remove these out one at a time. The shower's not going to go anywhere. So now I'm going to place one of these little covers over the head of the screw, put that back into position. And then put one of these little plastic caps right over the top and it makes that screw almost invisible. We have these two door seals, one's for the sliding door and one's for the static door. And as you can see, they've got these little channels in them, which slide over the edge. So I'll just put that on there and show you. These will slide on here and press onto that lip. But before we do it, I'm gonna put the one on the inside. So I'll close this up, put this one on first. Now the two of them, one is longer than the other, so it's the longest length on the inside piece and that just clips in nice and snug and bites to the edge of that glass door. That inside one's on. Close this and put this one on the outside. They're in place normally, they're quite tricky to fit, but they were quite easy. And now that will slide, that's it. And that's just stopping then any shower water or splashes from when you get them washed, coming through where the two glass panels slide past each other. That'll seal that up there quite nicely. All the assembling and fixing is now complete. The final stage is sealing the outside with the silicone sealant. Trim your nozzle at about 45 degrees, then place it in the silicone gun and start to strike a line on the outside edge of the frame from top all the way down to the bottom shower tray. I'm using a clear transparent silicone sealant. Make sure your finger's cleaned off with a silicone wipe and then gently press against the silicone, spreading it out to form the shape.
course you can get different color silicones to match your tiles or your frame but i tend to prefer a clear transparent one when it comes to jobs like this you also run the silicone along the bottom edge of the outside of the frame where it meets the shower tray and again smooth this off with a clean finger now I'm applying a line of silicone just around the edge of the shower tray where it meets the tiles. This time I'm using a light grey one to tie in with my wall tiles. So that's how you install a two-sided sliding door shower enclosure. If you're looking for more inspiration, don't forget to follow us on all social media handles. And if you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Or if you want to see the vast range of products that Bathroom Mountain stock, just check out their website, bathroommountain.co.uk.